And so what we end up with then is six and a half billion human sisters and brothers on this planet, all wanting more. Well, we're standing at a very important threshold because we are very unsustainable at this time. And if we're going to move into a planetary era that has a future, we're going to have to figure out how to be sustainable. We have to learn how to be planetary people. And this is a huge task, but it's also a giant adventure. The scope of the challenge, I believe, is well stated in the opening words of the, Earth Char of the Earth Charter. How many of you are familiar with the Earth Charter? Well, you're going to hear more about it Sunday morning, OK? Because this is a document that I think is one of the most important documents that has come out of the human community for centuries. And if we were to study it through the eyes of faith, it could make an amazing change in our, in our attitudes and our behaviors. We stand at a critical moment in Earth's history a time when humanity must choose its future. This is the first time in human history that we stand realizing that we have to choose to have a future. Otherwise, Homo sapiens, our species, may not continue to be part of God's story that we call creation. And it goes on to say, as the world becomes increasingly interdependent and fragile, and I think all of us will agree, we're already there, wouldn't you say? The future at once holds great peril and great promise. Now, think about that. It's a reminder then, we can look at our times as just awfully dangerous or awfully exciting. And I'm here to try to convert as many people as possible in this audience to realize we are living in the most exciting period of human history. Hallelujah. <laughs>